Getta. Mm -hmm. you have What's Getta. the news of the day? David Bowie died. Is that how you say the last name? <laughs> Facebook forced me to see it. It's uh, nine degrees outside. Are those rabbits okay? I feel like they need like a box. What? You're not gonna look to watch this video with me. Good. These pregnancy videos are like never ending. And they're made for women. I don't understand how it feels. Grab a backpack. <laughs> Add a baby doll. That's ridiculous. Add eight pounds of weights for baby weight. So they're strapping a backpack to this guy to make him Add feel to make him feel like he's 37 weeks pregnant, so that Add he one can and a half pounds have an empathy for bump. Sense of weight. <clears throat> Add two pounds for uterus muscle. Add 32 ounces of water for amniotic fluid. All right, all right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Why don't you talk about you're 37 weeks pregnant today? Yeah. Tell, how are you feeling? I am feeling pretty good. Um, I feel like I have mixed emotions of, I wouldn't be too disappointed if I went into labor today, but I also have some things I want to get done this week. Here you hold this night. But about this time next week, hey, Jerry. I think I will feel more like I have okay, cool. um, more things right done now. and more ready. Let's go. The ministry minds. The mic on? Yeah. My friend David asked me to make a video and share why we vlog. Two years ago, we went to this conference in Chicago, and it was called the Gay Christian Network Conference. And we, we went to support a family member. This conference was like really intense. These people are really hated. They're really ostracized. Like if you think about it, the gay Christians, like they're hated by the gays, and they're also hated by the Christians. So I left with this feeling of just feeling like, oh, these people are so hopeless and hurting. hurting. We left asking like, how can our family help? And we feel like God has a design for family and we're not trying to like shove it down people's throats. We feel like it's given us a lot of hope, a lot of things that we had given up on and we've seen a lot of other people just completely give up on even having a family. Because no one's seeing um, this thing actually in action, this thing that can change people's lives, this thing that can be really cool and can be better than a job and better than just a fling and better than romance and better than just wild sex and better than a fast car. So that was two years ago and, and we felt like, man, we, we, we should share our life with people, not, not as a how-to manual or because we have all the answers, but just we feel like we're really blessed with the kids. We had good parents and grandparents. We never thought this would be a vlog. I, at, at that time, I think I just thought, oh, okay, well, we're just gonna parent our kids and then maybe people will see our kids in five or 10 or 20 years and that will be enough. Mm -hmm. it, was a, it was also about two years ago that memory we were driving to, um, Epiphio and memory, I asked her, I was like, why do you think the truth is important? Like, why do you think lying is a big deal? And she said, because it stops relationship. And that's when I felt like this phrase, I felt like God gave it to me, but this phrase came into my head, fight for together. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's why lying, or that's why morality, or stealing, or any of these things are a big deal. I didn't know this as a kid, like I stole like crazy. <laughs> um, even as an adult, I stole. Because I didn't know that it violated relationships. 
I started to see how all morality and even family design has an impact on relationship. Even the technology we use or, mm -hmm. and the whole life for together thing is we believe that relationship is the most important mechanism of how we learn to have relationship with God. So God gives us family and we need to fight for relationship with family and when we do that, we're ultimately fighting for a relationship with God because family is what he gives us to understand him. Well, I think we started this really feeling like we just want to show our life and let it speak for itself. Let people draw the conclusions that they're going to draw. We felt a calling to show our life on a bigger scale than just that's why we're filming it. I mean, not because our life is its fantastical or anything, but just because we're like a family. And it's under attack, you know, it really is. Um, and I'm not trying to sound all fundamentalist or right wing, like, that's not the point. But, you know, when I, when I played in a casino, you learn that every thing in a casino is there for one reason, and it's for them to get every penny out of you. So if the carpet's a certain color, or if a game has a certain rule, or if a slot machine is in a certain place, it's not for, to look beautiful, it's to get your money. And in the same way, in our world, everything is there, and it's either going to help your relationships or it's going to hurt your relationships. So there's technology, you know, there's certain moral codes and rules, and even like if you choose to steal or not steal, or lie or not lie, or cheat on your wife, or, not, or look at porn or not look at porn, these things, they have an impact on our relationships. And we, keep, we have to understand that. You know, even like family design, and that's where, you know, understanding promiscuity or multiple partners or same sex partners or marriage or the children, these are like important things. We, we've changed our stance so much that I don't think we have the answers, but I feel like there is an answer and we want to find it um, and help other people learn from the mistakes we've made. You know, I was making a lot of money at one point. But my relationships, I think, were the worst they've ever been. You know, I, I think about the time I was making like a million dollars a year, and I had hired a personal assistant to play tennis with my kids. <laughs> That's like the story that like sticks in my head, and I'm like, it's not worth it. <laughs> yeah. So we have a history like of making a lot of mistakes. We made them in different ways than some people. <laughs> we're all really lonely. Um, we're really lonely, isolated people, and. We're not immune to that either. Um, there's times where I feel very lonely. If they feel less lonely because of our blog, I don't know. I feel like that's that's a really good thing too. There's just there's so much isolation, and in some ways, a blog is kind of like funny because it's you're not like with us, but yet you feel like you're with us. So it's it's like well, that's better than nothing. <laughs> Again, it comes back to, oh, we were designed for relationships. So we want you guys to fight for together. We fight every day, and we lose a lot of the battles. We choose independence, and we choose selfishness, and we choose things that we don't even realize hurt relationships. And we're in that fight, you know. We're not, like, masters. But we're at least saying we want to fight. And for you guys, um, we want you to fight fight against, like start asking the questions about the things in your lives and like say, does this help relationship or does this hurt relationship? I'm feeling better, I was feeling like crap this morning. I think because you're doing a good thing, that's why you're feeling like crap. This is my Patagonia Dos Parka jacket that I bought for Mount Rainier Alpine Summit trips. And it turns out it has two great uses. One is for 14,000 foot expedition summit trips and the other is for pregnant women, Midwest coffee shop walks. Be careful. Though. There we go. I wanted to let you guys know that we created a Facebook fan page for Fight for Together. The fan thing is all weird. And we want the Fight for Together page to be a page where people can go that want to say <clears throat> up on specifically the Fight for Together stuff, the daily vlogs, and articles and ideas and conversations around 
how we and how you are fighting for together. So this is it. Um, you can find it. I'm going to put a link to this Facebook page on the bottom. And if you want to stay up on the Facebook Fight for Together stuff, please uh, follow or like that or whatever you have to do. And you'll get that. And be a part of the conversation. We want to hear how this is impacting you and helping you. And thanks. Thank you.